Well, I did find out what chlamydia was. I mean, that was sort of interesting. Yeah. You know, in general, I've always, I don't know, been good with, I guess, old people. So I now know that there's a fetish for uh, Adam's apples. Never knew that. <laughs> My name is Leah Tidy and I am a PhD student at the University of Victoria in Applied Theatre. The play we created, You're Doing What at Your Age, uh, was about sexuality across the lifespan which was created and written by the group themselves. So I think the key thing of importance in this project was just bringing together the youths and the seniors to be able to have these conversations together which never happen. So the seniors are a group of actors from Victoria Target Theatre Society and they had done some intergenerational projects before, but nothing quite like this. We met with 17 or so students at uh, Victoria High School once a week and began this wonderful discussion of senior sexuality and teenage sexuality. A lot of it addressed the common misconception that like people think like elders don't engage in sexual activity as much, which I didn't really think that, but I never really thought about it, you know? The day before, the students would be saying things like, I think I'm going to bring in something on masturbation, or I'm going to bring in something on consent, and just see what they say. Um, almost like they were just trying to test and see kind of how far they could take it before they could make some of the seniors uncomfortable. And what was great is that they were never uncomfortable. After the performance, uh, we had a follow-up workshop that was actually facilitated by intergenerational groups. We have invited the audiences to interact with the actors and talk about uh, what they saw in the presentations and uh, their attitudes themselves toward the topic of senior sexuality and sexuality through the ages. I, I could see during the Monday discussions that there were some, you know, parents of the kids who were out there talking and maybe it opened their eyes to things they hadn't realized before as well. It was really incredible to watch their experience over the last four months that we were working together to go from complete strangers from the end of September to really good friends and, and confidants and comrades. My students are going to walk out of that class having you know, forever been changed and will always remember this particular project uh, because it's the authentic learning that counts and that's the stuff that sticks. I put it on my uh, university resume, so. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it, it was worth acknowledging. It's, I did it and it's a significant thing that I'm proud of doing. The whole notion of seniors talking to teens about sexuality, I think it opened up the whole conversation for both generations.